Hey everybody, um, I'm going to try to uh, replicate what we did on April 4th in class in case you either need a refresher or you couldn't make the class. And I'm going to start from the beginning. More or less, I'm going to cover what we did in class, but it's going to be basically the same. I'll probably forget something or I might add something, but here we go. We had these, and we're going to start from the beginning. So we're going to come up here to multi-track, and we're going to create a new session. We're going to name it uh, for example, April 4th. Then we're going to tell it where we want it to go. And in this case, we went into downloads. We did not save this for any reason. It was just uh, for instructional purposes. And then uh, mine's remembering to go to 44100. Uh, it might be set at 4800. Again, this is if you were going to do a video production, audio for a video production, you'd use uh, 48, but we're going to use 44. And then the bit depth, I think by default, is set to 32 float, but we're going to change it to 16. And we're going to choose mono. And this is going to keep the audio file smaller and easier to distribute or share with others or share with me and put up the blackboard and that type of thing. In general, these settings are for podcasts. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll try not to make too many noises, awful noises. So when we hit OK, we've, we've, uh, we've named it. We told it where we want it to go. We're not using a template. We have these settings correct, 44, 116 in mono. And now I have a multi-track session right here. And we did a couple of files we dumped in let me dump in this was audio c plat this is the one that we used on the 28th as well and of course that file i'm importing doesn't match the parameters i set this this session at so it's going to convert it and that's what it's doing right now somebody asked in class can you do can you dump the other one in at the same time that that one's cooking and the answer is yes, and that was a good question. So I'm going to take Violet, because this is the other file. This was the guest. If you remember, this was an interview with Clinice and a guest. So we'll put Violet right there, and we'll say OK, because she needs to be converted. <clears throat> and while we're waiting, the other file was Fashion House. This was the music bed. So we'll dump that right there that came in quick because it's a short file small file and maybe it didn't need, no it needed to be converted because it's a wave file i'm going to squish these down a little bit so that i could see it a little bit better Okay, so now we have the music bed, we have the host, and we have the guest. You can't see anything right now until I um, zoom all the way out. We're only looking at like 25 seconds, 30 seconds of this audio file. So Callie had this great uh, um, keyboard shortcut, and it is the forward slash key. Let's see, where is it on this machine? Boom. And now you can see there's 50 minutes of audio there. There's the shrunk down. There's the music bed. Here are the files right here, the um, interview and the guest. Now let's, let's name those. So if you come up here into this area where it says track one, you just click on it. Let's call this one Clinice. This is, can be helpful. And I'm getting notifications. So let's, uh, let's go into settings and put my focus on do not disturb and we'll go in here and we'll name this one violet because that's violet's name and then we'll call this the music bed and i'm going to go back in and i'm hitting my plus key i could be going down here to these oh you can't see that with me in the way can you 
Let me move myself up for a second. Oh, yeah, down here on these buttons here can zoom you in and out. I put myself back. So I am hitting the plus key to come in closer. And I remember that she says something that we don't want in there. And the first thing that we did was we silenced it. So right now, I, I have my settings on the move tool. So, so when it's this arrow with that, like that crosshair four arrow thing. I don't even know what you call that. Got to be a name for it. I'll tell you what, if anybody in class knows what that is, let us know. Um, so the move tool, like obviously I can move these tracks around. I can move them down into another track and label that if I want, but we're just going to leave it here for now. But we're going to go to the time selection tool, which is this guy right here. And now I can just drag now, I can drag an area, and because this bar here is lit up, I'm only going to affect this area when I do that. I know everyone was getting confused, and I don't blame you. I got confused in the beginning, too. We're highlighting all those tracks, but this is the only one that we're working on right now with this effect. So I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to silence time selection in selected clips. Now, I have a shortcut set up, and you can do this, but when we do it in room 140, this won't be sticky. This shortcut won't be sticky because they crash everything at the end of the, at, over, overnight, and then you come back in, and these programs are all set back to default. But if you're using this on your machine, there is a way to go in there and make a sh uh, smart uh, key for that. But we're just gonna we're just gonna select that. Now you can see what happened is, and to get out of that mode, you just kind of click anywhere. It dropped the volume using the yellow volume bar. Remember, there's volume here in this little icon down here by going stretching left to right or up and down. And then there's volume here. And this yellow bar is more for either manually doing things like um, she starts talking here. So I definitely want the music bed to drop. So let's go into this track and let's manually get on that yellow line. OK, well, I'm going to make a pinch point right there. See, I clicked and there's a yellow uh, <laughs> I clicked and there's a blue dot there. And I'm going to click again and make another blue dot and drop that. So this happened because I told it to by right-clicking and selecting silence. And this happened because I went in there and manually manipulated that volume bar. So now if I play that, this should be silent. She was saying something here. And then when she starts speaking, the, the music bed should drop immediately. Let's see what happens. That's really loud. And somebody brought that point up too in class. You guys like are so smart. Um, the music bed was, was clipping and it really needs to be brought down. There we go. Welcome to the Platinum Passport Podcast. Uh, I am so excited today because my guest is Violet White, who actually has become a very special person in my life. Not only does she help me take care of my skin. And at some point, I'm just going to fade the music out. I usually do it like, here's where she introduces her, and then Violet says hi. So I like to do it sometime before that, uh, because it really now brings the focus on that guest. So we'll come here. I'm going to pop the playhead ahead there. I, we were back here, and now I just selected the area here and just move that playhead anywhere I want ways and as she and I have had multiple conversations over the year or so that we have been connected I just know that she has a unique perspective on 
how we care for our body and also skin care. And as we were thinking about beauty, what does that mean? And so I could not wait to ask her if she would. I just like how the music is gone now. And now the focus is on the introduction. So Violet, welcome to the show. Thank you, Clinice. I am privileged to be here. I feel privileged to have this opportunity. So that's nice. It's a very nice introduction. She responds well. Um, let's take a, the time to go back to the March 28th lesson and what we did in April 4th, and let's compress both Clinice and Violet. Now you can see that we tended we did that first when we when we did these projects in class, but you know, I haven't really done much here yet. I've just kind of set it up where I want it. But now these um, tracks are whole, and let's apply the compression effect on both. Now, you can remember, uh, you may remember, that there's two different ways to get into the waveform. We are going to compress in waveform, which is, again, destructive editing. Once I close this program, anything I do in waveform cannot be undone but we're gonna feel confident that we're compressing this the right way. So there's two ways to get into waveform on this track selected is to either hit the waveform button up here or to double click anywhere in the track itself. So you can see there's uneven volumes here. She's excited, speaks loudly, and then she gets soft and asks a question. So I'm going up to the effects. Oh, let's do it here. Let's go right to this. Uh, I'm sorry, let's go up to the effects. You can't see it. Uh, above here is my um, menu item. So effects, now you can see it. I'm dropping it down. I'm in effects. And I'm going to go to amplitude and compression. And I'm going to go to dynam uh, dynamics. And we're going to make sure that auto gate and expander are unchecked and compressor is checked. And we want our settings to be minus 20 dB and bring the ratio up to four. Don't worry about these settings. I am applying a little bit of makeup gain here. If this isn't defaulted, you can bring it up to around seven or something like that and hit apply. And now we are gonna see this waveform actually change uh, because of this compression effect that we are applying. Now, those peaks and valleys are kind of evened out. And that's a thing of beauty. That's a nice, even file. It's going to be easier to listen to. And we're going to go back to multi-track. And we can see that in multi-track, we can see those peaks and valleys are compressed. If we did the compression here in multi-track, we, we could get that effect, but we would not see it physically. And again, I think it's important to be able to see that. So we did that. Now, I can increase that volume just a little bit more. And I think I will. I think I'll bring it up there. But that's nice, even level. Now, let's do the same thing to Violet. So I'm going to double click in the space. And now we have Violet. And I'm going to bring the track all the way out so I can see the entire track. And there are some really low volume areas here where she and I think I don't think it was her I think something happened with her equipment or maybe she moved away from the, the microphone like this who knows she was whatever for whatever reason but we're gonna fix it like this area in particular so again I'm going up to effects in my menu items I'm coming down to amplitude and compression we're gonna go to dynamics be careful because there's dynamics processing here, but we want this one. Same thing, auto gate, expander, and unchecked compressor. Checked, tw minus 24, and a little bit of makeup gain. And gadoosh, as we used to say in Quincy. And now we have that. Uh, I'm gonna go, yeah, okay, so click anywhere in here. Okay, so, and I'm going to bring that level up too. I can't see what I'm doing there. Okay, eh, that's pretty good. Let me zoom out. Okay, so oh, now I think... And she said yes! <laughs> so, Violet, welcome to the show. 
All right. I can do two things here. That's kind of loud. She's clipping there. See that? <laughs> so Violet, well. It's going into the red. The yellow is, I, I kind of, I'm going to squash her at 12 right here, 12 dB. So the way I'm going to do that, and I'll do that here in multi-track. I'm going to go to the effects rack. So there's a bunch of different things to see here. This is metadata. This is markers. And this is the effect rack effects rack and I'm going to go to the slot number one and I'm going to go to back to amplitude and compression and I'm going to put a limiter on there I'm choosing hard limiter and I'm going to dial this up to minus 12 now this time maybe I'll just go in here and do it that way Okay, so now watch what happens when I play that same area back. Betty, yes! <laughs> so, Violet, welcome to the show. Thank you, Clinice. I am. Okay, you can see Clinice got slammed at 12. Now we need to slam Victoria. So, this effect right now is toggled on, it is on this track right here. So now when I switch to this track, purple, violet, you're going to see this go away because these are the effects that are applied to Clinice. So when I go here, boom, I've got nothing right now in multi-track, no effects applied to violet. The only thing we did was we compressed her back in waveform. Now, the good thing about doing an effect in here is that it is non-destructive. I can come back here at any time after I close the program multiple times and change these settings. So I'm coming into amplitude and compression. I'm going to put a hard limiter on her. I'm going to go to minus 12. And now watch. Island, welcome to the show. Thank you, Clinice. I am privileged to be here. I feel privileged to have this opportunity. So they are both leveled and limited at minus 12 dB. I'm ready to start doing some editing now, Some take out some ums and ahs and make cuts and those types of things. So we will now close that panel out. You can see that I'm on this track. I know that I've got a hard limiter. On Clinice, I'm here. I know I've got a hard, I changed the track selection. I have a hard limiter here. I could even go in now and make, you know, a lot more effects here. I could go in and let's go, let's do this first. Let, before we make any cuts, let's mess with filter and EQ. Now, I don't think we did this on April 4th in class, but, um, Louisiana wanted to know, thank you for bringing that up. She wanted to know, how can I make somebody sound like they're a different person? Or in particular, you wanted to um, bring up the bass or lower frequencies in the voice. So let's go to Clinice. Special person in my... Let's actually get out of the music bed over here. Let's go over here. Yeah, okay, let's start here. I love that answer and the fact that you acknowledge that every... Okay, so let's have Clinice selected and let's go in and look at filter and EQ. So I'm, I'm in the effects panel, I'm in slot number two, and we're going to go to filter and EQ and let's try parametric equalizer. I love this panel that comes up because as you play, One of us. you can see the frequencies in Clinice's voice as she's speaking. Now, this came in as custom. It's probably going to come in as default for you, and it should. Um, I think this is because I've manipulated it before and it remembered my settings, but it's probably going to come in as default. So what you're going to get is a, a, a flat line on, on her voice. Um, as a human being is beautiful, but we do require care to bring out. You can see she's got some, you know, obviously there's, there's some of the lower frequencies. We're at 200 here, 300, 400, 500. Those are lower frequencies. And then she has some 
nice mid tones and she has a little bit of we don't want a lot of uh, high end treble uh, so but we've this effect default is just cutting that straight off and making her flat now watch what happens when i start manipulating these pinch points here this by the way is a high pass filter <laughs> and uh it it takes the lower frequencies off and lets the high pass the high filters uh, the high frequencies pass through so it gets a little confusing but i usually turn that on because these lower frequencies here are desk rumble mic noise you know just unwanted unintelligible frequencies that you don't find in the human voice so I usually put the high pass filter on. I will also tend to go to the low pass filter, which as you can see cuts off the very high end of frequencies uh, because again, we don't hear stuff over 20K and it's usually very sibilant and too, too much trouble. Um, I'm actually gonna pull this, this pinch point back so that I can really take this um, low pass filter and bring it in a little bit. Same thing with this one. Um, this is my next frequency point, which is here. And I'm going to take this high, uh, high pass filter and bring it into around 50. There's just no reason to, uh, to keep any of those frequencies in. But now I can raise these frequencies up and down. I can change their position just by grabbing the dot or the square. So I have multiple points here. And these are all reflected down here. So this is this is low here. Actually bring that in here. Now that's a better way to do that. More better as we used to say in Quincy. Now there's something I can do here also, which is, let's bring this guy up, and I am here at number one. So if I hold, click and hold here, I can change it manually there, or if I go here, I can change the structure of the bandwidth. How much, how many of these frequencies down here am I grabbing? Oops, I made a mistake. I think I backed out of that by accident, so. Okay, so I went down here into my history. There's a, there's a learning moment right here. I messed up and I, I clicked away from what I was doing. I don't know how I did that. I think I hit con Command Z but I want to get back to where I was and I can do that by going to the history here. And this is where I added the parametric equalizer. So here it is, it's back. And all I have to do is click in there and go back to edit effect. And there I am. Okay, so I don't know what I did. Oh, okay, I did something weird there. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that back to the default position, which is around two. There we go. But you can change how narrow, like if there's one frequency that's just there, it's a steady frequency, you can notch it right out. All right, let's play Clinice and watch how this, listen how this changes C and listen how this the changes. The best of that beauty, just like with anything else in life, whether it's a garden or your home or anything, as you think about your own personal journey uh, with beauty and skincare, where did your interest uh, begin? Uh, well, funny enough. It... Okay, I've got to bring it back here because we are not manipulating Violet right now. We are manipulating Clint East, so I'm going to bring the playhead back here. We do require care to bring out the best of that beauty, just like with anything else in life, whether it's a garden or your... You can hear there's a lot of sibilance up here. These are a lot of high frequencies up here. 
And this is the, you know, we bring a lot of body into her voice by bringing up the bass here. I, I think a sweet spot to warm somebody's voice up is around 500. So let's let's see what happens when we do that. Home or anything, as you think about your own personal journey uh, with beauty and skincare, where did your interest uh, begin? And this this is really sibilant. So, and sibilant is sizzling. Let's bring it down a bit and bring her back here. Bring out the best of that beauty, just like with anything else in life, whether it's a garden or your home or anything. As you think about your own personal journey uh, with beauty and skincare, where did your interest uh, begin? Uh, well, funny enough, it, that's exactly where it began. Um, as a teenager, um, I was finding that um, the things that you discovered uh, when you first began that journey that actually it's starting to sound a little bit better. Uh, this is sometimes a matter of personal taste. And sometimes somebody has a beautiful voice and they really don't need a lot of manipulation with this. But I wanted you to see it and I wanted you to see that you can correct some serious problems. Um, and I'll go into this in a little bit more detail, I think, in the next couple of le uh, classes. But there's a way to get rid of the nasally sound. There's a way to you know, get, make somebody's voice much warmer, to get rid of the sibilance. I just touched upon it here, but I, I think it's worth knowing about uh, this effect. So we just applied to Clinice only this parametric equalizer again if i go to violet you'll see that the only thing we have on her is a hard limiter so now we have hard limiter and parametric equalizer even after i close out this session and come back in a bunch of days later i can always come back in here i can edit this effect and change what i did i can remove this effect completely if i want and i can always toggle any of the effects that i make here in the effects rack on and off and I can listen back real time and see those, uh, hear, <laughs> hear those effects uh, turn on and off. So it's a very, very powerful thing. The other thing that we did in class, and, and Callie demonstrated her um, remarkable skills at editing, by the way, and that was making ripple deletes. So let's go through here um, and... Look for some ums and ahs. There's so many beautiful things in the world. Um, God has blessed There's us. There's one. They're not hard to find. Um, God. So, in some editor's world, worlds, the client wants all this stuff cleaned up. And it's a lot of work. It's a lot of surgery. There are some podcasters and other clients that want it to sound as natural as possible even if it's annoying and so they leave maybe they're lazy and they don't want to edit or they don't have an editor so they leave all the blemishes in my clients tend to want this stuff out i will take out 75 to 85 percent of the ums and ahs and and so's and like so's and you know's um, and leave some in so that it does sound natural and not too stilted and not too sterile. Um, God has blessed us. But I want to get rid of that um there. And there's a couple of different ways I can do it. Now, I could, I have to be in this track, I could do my silence there. I could do my silence time and selection. And by the way, I always come back to hear my edit. Oops. I always come back and come into the edits to make sure it's what I want. Any beautiful things in the world. God has blessed us. Okay. The other thing I could have done there, I'm going to control that. That sort of works. World. God has blessed. Yeah, it does work, but I don't really think I want the space there. There's too much dead time here. So, I'm going to com uh, command Z and undo that silence. And this time I'm going to do shift command delete. And 
unlike when you do the silence effect and it only impacts that track, this, this is called a ripple delete. I just cut both tracks. So everything in the conversation is still in sync. If I had only cut this track, then Clanice would be out of sync and she'd probably be talking over the guest or vice versa. So everything is still in sync. You'll hear um, Clanice agree here with an mm. Beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Okay, so everything stayed. Now you can see there's a cut in this track right now. I just made a cut. If I go into the move tool up here, I can now change this can move things around. I tend not to do that because I don't want to lose the synchronicity of the conversation. But I just want you to see that you can do that. You can now do things like this and stretch things back and forth physically. You can move things this way. Very interesting. There's a lot of flexibility here. But I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it there. All I wanted to do was take out that um. God has blessed us. Now, if that's a... Now, it sounds a little upcut. God has just a tiny bit. Now here's a cool little feature here in each clip. So we this is now a clip, 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 clip. There are four. We're looking at four little clips here, because I cut it. This little icon up here. It's a square and it's light and dark there. If you grab that, I can create a short little fade there. Well, I, don't know, I can make it long as I want. But I'm just going to fade in. See that yellow line? I'm just going to fade in just a tiny bit. Again, I'm going to come back and I'm going to play it through to make sure it sounds, um, it sounds the way I want it to sound. I don't just make a cut and make a fade in and go on. I always listen back. things in the world. God has blessed us with... Yeah, I like that a little bit better. It just takes the curse out of that um, cut I made, the ripple delete I made. And I'm going to go back here and time selection. I'm going to grab this little area right here. Now, again, I'm going to make a ripple delete. So I'm going to grab both of these tracks and slam the door shut. So I'm going to go to shift, command, delete. All right. So beautiful things in the world. God has blessed us. You know what? That's a little too much. I'm going to grab that amount of space. So I controlled Z. I undid that. Ripple delete, and now there, there. Okay, so now there's a nice little gap there, and I got rid of that little tick. That's beautiful in there. things in the world. God has blessed us with many, many beautiful things. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? I'm gonna take out. She agrees with her guest way too much, and in my view, when you do an interview, ask your question. Let your guest answer. Don't, oh, yeah, you're right. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh, that's so, yeah, I love that. Don't interject. Let them talk. Maybe once in a while you can say agreement. Agreement things are good. But so we're going to actually do a ripple delete and get that whole thing out. That was shift command delete. Beautiful things. But there's a certain amount of care that goes into maintaining that beauty um whether it's this is gonna be a little tricky because that um rolls right into weather it's and i'm gonna give it a shot here i'm gonna grab it right about there um um um, um. by the way this is a good feature i have this loop playback toggled on that's off that's on so anything i've selected when I hit the space bar, it's just going to play it over and over so I can hear it. Um, um, um. Eh, it's kind of what I want. So I'm going to hit shift, command, delete. Uh, I'm going to go back. That beauty. Whether it's... Now that's a wicked upcut. You can hear that. So I'm going to soften that quite a bit. That beauty. Whether it's... Uh... That worked really well. That took the sharpness out of that upcut. Now... I could go on and on and on here, but you get the idea. There's Clinice agreeing, see? Mm -hmm. A garden can have the, in mm -hmm. terms of. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So what I could do here, by the way, is just grab this section right here. 
Now I'm going to do a silence here. So it's only going to apply to Clanice because this effect won't grab both tracks. So I'm going to right click silence time and selected clips. Boom. I just wholesale took out these agreements here, this um, um. A garden, a garden can have the potential of being amazing in terms of. And you can see when it comes back to here, because that's where I ended my selection, Clinice comes back in after the guest ends answering the question. Best. I love that. I don't like that little. Best. I, <laughs> I don't like that little breath. So let's go in there. And there's a couple of things I can do here. I could just do another silence there. Or uh, somebody brought this up in class too, that you can actually just come in here and these pinch points in the, in the yellow volume control uh, are still edit editable. I can't say editable. Best. I love... I didn't get it all. There we go. That is best. I love that answer in the fact. Okay. Let's back out a bit. Now that I've made some, um, you're going to see <laughs> once you get through a file, uh, Callie showed an example. She had a million ripple deletes in there. She actually had spaces in there because she uses a little bit of a different type of, um, uh, cut. I like the ripple delete and I like everything to be together, but it kind of bothers me that this is all chopped up. So what I like to do is come back in and merge these clips. This I think was one of the last things we did in class. So if I go to the move tool and I grab, I don't want this guy here and I grab all of this, um, track all the clips in this track i can merge these all back together so let's just zoom in so that we can see some of those cuts and watch it merge yeah now you can see the cuts a little bit better so i have this uh track all the clips selected and i'll go up to clip uh, which you cannot see there but it's across the top, my menu items clip, and then merge clips, which you can see right here. And it will cook, and boom. Now that's one complete track again. And same thing here. If I, oops. If I select all, and deselect those, and now I have this all selected, and I go back up to clip. And merge clips. Now, it looks better to me, but also now if I want to change the volume uh, of this entire track using this effect here, this toggle here, I can. And when them cut up, you can only do that to each clip. So it, that can be very confusing and that can confound you and then you'll end up with various volumes on those clips because the only time to use this i think is when you want just the entire clip a uh, higher in volume or lower in volume or for some reason you want a cut clip within the track to have a higher volume and i think we will end it there but we're going to pick up where we left off uh, in the next class. I hope this is helpful. Um, the, the projects that you're, that you're um, uh, sending in are awesome. I think we have some really creative, talented people. Your voices are awesome. Keep, it, keep them coming. And uh, we'll end it there.